No, stop. <laughs> you ruined my car. Ruined my brand new car, my $68,000 car for my sugar daddy. Sugar daddy's gonna be mad at me. Okay, this is the car. Getting some gas. Oh, hold on. seating that I have down right now because I had some chairs in there but there's three rows of seats and then here's the front okay so this is the inside of the car um this is like the basic model not basic model but the just above basic model because the higher end model, this is all like digital. So this is only digital in the middle. Then you have analog controllers there. Um, I like the placement of everything. It's easy. Um, I'm, 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 usually I'm used to like all the controls being here. But when you're, when you're using the infotainment system, the volume is here and changing the song or the podcast is here. Usually I'm used to it like right here. Um, auto dimmer lights, automatic windshield wiper comes on when it rains. Um, I do like the sensor here. So it has like, it'll, it'll light up when there's someone in your blind spot. Love that. Love that it beeps. Mine, my, uh, Honda does not beep, uh, when you're backing up and when there's something too close to you. The infotainment system is pretty, I mean, I don't really use their infotainment system, I use like my my Apple CarPlay so um, sorry there's some Kleenex in here gross what I love is that okay what I was a little bit concerned about was that the uh, USB plugs are USB-C not regular USB so it's this one that comes with like the new iPhones that is what the um, plug is um, and I like that there's two of them What's also amazing is that this whole thing... Okay, let's take this out. This looks gross. It's making me anxiety. <laughs> okay. So here, this is a charging pad. So this chart... The USB-C is fast charging, but the, the pad is slow charging. So it doesn't charge as fast as you want to, but it does help that it's there. Um, cups, whatever. This stuff, whatever. Heated seats, cool, uh, cooled seats. Um, oh, there's an option for you to get a CD player put in here. This one doesn't have one, so people who want CD players. I love the moonroof, guys. Look, it goes all the way back there. And that's the back seat. The second row is very spacious. The third row um, can comfortably fit two people, but you can fit three. Like if you have three kids back there, it'll fit comfortable, comfortably, comfortably. Um, I think there's, I don't know if I can see it. There's somewhere over here, there's some knobs and shit. Uh, overall, I like this. I like this car. Would I buy one? No. And everybody's asking, uh, hold on, let me turn you guys around. So the back seat is comfortable. I'm a fat biatch and my ass can fit right here in the middle. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> back here, there's some air vents, controllable air vents, more USB plugs, leather seats. Um, oh, this, they have window shades that go up. That's nice. I don't know if you can see that on both sides. So that's kind of cool. I'll be honest with you. My sugar daddy bought this car for me. I'm back to sugaring because I'm a welfare food stamp hoe, guys. Welfare food stamp hoe in the house. We back to sugaring. You don't understand how many, what I had to do to get this car. I had to do this and that and this and that. And was, I worked hard for this car. Um, so thank you, sugar daddy. His name is Enter and yeah, I might as well just tell you guys. His name is Enter. His last name is Price. 
um but yeah he's my new sugar daddy he bought this for me it's a 2021 volkswagen atlas suv yeah um but uh yeah i like the car would i would i personally buy one probably not i don't know I'm not, i mean i mean i like it it's just i think brand new it's like sixty eight thousand dollars. so it's kind of like I feel like there's better options for 68,000. Although my Cadillac XT5, if you guys remember that car, it was my last car before my Honda. That one was about six, about the same price, 60 something thousand. And it wasn't a full size SUV like this one. Um, this one is a full size SUV, like co a comparable, comparable to my Cadillac Escalade. So um, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. I've never actually owned, I'd have to have this for a while to figure out if it's going to give me problems like mechanically and shit. What I do find that this car does is that it, um, the tire pressure like always seems to go low all the time. I don't know what the hell that was, is up with that. And when I pump the air, the tire pressure will be down again. I mean, it could be the tires. I don't know. Maybe the tires, something wrong with the tires. Other than that, I like everything about the car. I love the way it runs. It's very smooth. I love at, at fast speeds. Gas is a little bit crazy because our gas here is a dollar 67 per liter. I don't know what that is per gallon, but it's a dollar 67 per liter. And to fill this car is about $85 to $90 is what I've seen. But again, the, um, okay. So here's the thing. I got this car last Tuesday. It is now Thursday. So from Tuesday to Wednesday, I lasted on a full tank of gas and I still had just above empty. So a gas, uh, a full tank of gas lasts me about uh, that much. So um, I think that's pretty good when it in, in terms of, and that's also driving every day for six hours a day. So driving every day for six hours a day, um, lots of stops in between. The gas has had lasted me um very like uh, for a long time i feel like my honda didn't even last that long on eco mode um in terms of if you want to do some hanky panky in the back seat i feel like you can um like me being a big biatch i feel like i have enough room i want it to like like that like that position i feel like it's good that position move up the seats i can probably get my legs up here and that's being a 315 pound hoe, okay? So very, very spacious. I would love, like, I would love a, um, a vehicle like this, like to take it to like Minneapolis or long drives, road trips. So yeah, that is it for the review on or the dog's <laughs> review. And I hope you enjoyed this car portion car tour. Uh, I, I, I like the car, like overall, I'd say out of a 10, I'd give it an 8.5. Um, I don't know what's missing. Something is missing. Maybe it's the Volkswagen name that I'm not used to, but, and plus the price. I feel like the price is a little much, 68,000. I feel like the most I would pay for this would be like low kilometers, excellent condition, like 55. I feel like that is a sweet spot for this car, for me personally. So maybe buying used, it would be better. Cause that's brand new. Brand new, I think is 68, 65, 68. So I wouldn't want to pay more than 55, but it would have to have like less than uh, 10,000 kilometers on it and not no accidents in excellent condition. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. For everybody asking about the car tour, time to work, okay? I got bills to pay. I'm an independent woman. Independent woman that makes my own money. I gotta go inside the thrift store and work. Cause if I don't work, and got money to pay the bills. <sighs>